Hi everybody, this is a quick video to show you how to take through Design Space the new SVG to cut a box for um, a glass with a, a wide shallow bowl. Some people call it a champagne coupe, others a martini glass or a cocktail glass. Uh, but here we are. I've just brought it onto my canvas from my library. Right, so the first thing to do is to convert all the lines that need converting to scores and as usual with all my SVGs those lines are always in the first group in your layers panel. You select them by just clicking on the name of the group which is the second line down in your layers panel and it selects everything in the group. When they're selected go over to your operations menu click on basic cut and go down to score and you can see that those cut lines get converted to score lines. And while they're still selected, go back to your layers panel and click on ungroup. Uh, these commands might be elsewhere, depending on what device you're working on, which version of uh, Design Space you're using. But those are the names of the commands that you need. OK, next step is to select the all the coloured cut pieces, which are in the second group in your layers panel and all the little lines in between them. And once you've selected those, all you do is ungroup. And then as with any um, multi-part SVG that has score lines, you need to do a third ungroup. So to you select everything on screen, you can do that by using this uh, select all button in the top menu or on a PC, you can do control A. Or since you're working in your layers panel anyway, just click right at the top of your layers panel. That will select absolutely everything and then click ungroup once more. So three ungroups ideally in that order if you do them in a different order things will jump around in your layers panel and your scores might go to the back and it is um retrievable you can fix it but it's just work that you don't need to do if you follow it exactly in that order okay the next step is to attach the score lines to each individual piece that they relate to don't do the svg as a whole it's got to be as separate pieces and the simplest way to do that i think is to click on screen somewhere near a piece Drag a box to enclose just that piece and its scores and go back to your layers panel and click on attach at the bottom or wherever that is in your version of design space. And you need to do that for every piece on screen that has score lines. And then you can see that once you've done that, everything moves together, nothing gets left behind and it will get cut and scored on the same mat. Okay. You get a PDF of instructions which tells you what all these different pieces are. Um, so don't worry that you don't you might not know what they are at the moment. Um, okay, so let's hit make it and see what happens. So at the moment I've got my lid set to cut from a contrast piece of card and everything else, the actual box body has to cut from A3. So we've got to choose A3 for that. And you can see that the other two pieces uh, just go onto an A3 as well. Even if you had the lid in the same colour as everything else, you would still need an extra piece for it. It's just too big to fit on this mat here. I have tried. It just doesn't quite fit, unfortunately. Um, I'll just go back to the screen and I will just talk you through these pieces uh, quickly because this is the lid. This is the base insert that goes around the stem. This is the actual box bottom that glues onto these tabs and forms the eight-sided shape of the box. And this piece here is an insert that goes in the top of the box and sits on top of the glass uh, and stops it moving around. So you might think you could get away with that and not use that extra piece of paper, but I think it really adds to the strength of the box and just protects your glass that little bit more. And the nice thing about it as well is uh, when it's folded up, and placed on top of your glass, it's placed with the flat piece of the card against the top of your glass. It makes a really nice little area within the box that you could put some chocolates in or something else. It's about 30 centimetres deep. Oops, 30 millimetres deep, three centimetres. And uh, the full size of the box, obviously. So it's actually, you know, you could probably get about one, two, three, three, eight or nine Ferreros in there if that's what you wanted to put in with it as a nice little gift. Um, so... Don't be tempted not to cut that. I would really cut it. Um, it just adds to the rigidity. It keeps your glass safe. And the reason it's in is because this is such a shallow glass. And if you wanted to decorate it, to then put a lid on, you'd be hiding your 
you'd be hiding the glass. So this extra space that's created at the top of the box here, um, here is so that the let's just pull that down is so that the lid can sit on it and not obscure your glass. Okay, that's it. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to come back to me. I'm always happy to help. You can cont you can contact me on Etsy or Facebook. The details are in the description below. And if you've just stumbled across this video and you'd like to buy the SVG, the link to purchase is also in the description. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.